guys, it's Stu here from 3B. Today I'm just going to do an update on the calibration settings for the KS series of TVs. Um, these same settings will work well with the MU series and the KU series as well. Uh, just a quick heads up as regards the website, Bits, Bites and Bobs. Um, I spent most of last week, in fact all of last week, when I wasn't doing the videos at the beginning, um, was updating and upgrading to a new dedicated server. So we moved from our sort of hosting provider, which was causing the site to be very slow, to a dedicated server. And uh, we've also changed the design to something that's more fitting and more responsive and easier to use. So please go and visit bitsbitesbobs.com. It's much easier to work and use and play around with, lots of information on there, and it's super, super quick. So do that after watching this video. Uh, so as regards the updates, um, I have to change the source so it doesn't, you think I'm just watching, wanting to watch JPEGs. So we'll go to that, and then we will go to settings. And then picture mode, movie, standard picture size, 16 by nine, expert settings. I have the backlight for me at 20 all the time. If that's too bright for you, you can move that down to 12. Obviously you put it at 20 for HDR. Brightness at 44, contrast at 100, sharpness at zero, color at 44, tint green and red at 50-50. We apply that obviously to all sources. Clean view, we turn off. Um, Auto motion plus, we have a custom, but we put all these at zero and off. By doing so, it just turns it on enough, but doesn't cause it to sort of become too apparent. Uh, and it just stops the tiniest, teeniest amount of judder that we seem to be will seem to get sometimes in certain content. Smart LED at high, UH, HDMI to UHD color on all sources again. And then one of the changes we have made, uh, one of the other changes is dynamic contrast at high. The reason I did this, uh, previously we had that off or at most I'll put that at low sometimes. Um, I've noticed that because they've made changes in terms of how the panel brightness is, uh, I have noticed that it's starting to wash out the blacks a lot more. Certainly when you're watching, say for instance, a movie uh, and it's got the letterbox uh, banding top and bottom where it's really black, I noticed that when this was off, um, we got a lot of bleed within that. Um, by turning it on and then to high, I noticed that admittedly uh, it was crushing blacks, not as much as it used to, it's still a tiny bit, but the trade-off with having it on high was the fact that you had some great deep dark blacks now. So put it on at high, you won't regret it because the blacks really are well handled now. You know, especially when you have, like we have here, we've got some uh, white bright text against a black area. Previously that would get a bit washed out. Uh, but so put the dynamic contrast on high, color tone on warm too white balance, unless you've had your TV completely properly calibrated, leave those at zero. Um, gamma at zero, at zero, change that back down. Um, color space set to auto. And those are the changes I have made. So just a few subtle ones. The main big one, of course, is the fact that I've turned dynamic contrast on at high and I've just tweaked some of the other settings and uh, auto motion plus set to custom and all at zero and off. So I hope that helps. It's an update to the um, previous settings for the 12, I think it's 1208.2 or 1208.6, can't quite remember. And uh, let me know if any of this helps or doesn't, or you've got your own settings and um, I'll catch you again sometime soon. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.